I'm Diane DeResta, and welcome to tonight's gala for Operation Warrior Shield. I am here tonight to introduce you to and present some of our honorees and the incredible people who dedicate their time and their efforts to this wonderful organization. So we're going to do everything we can tonight to give back, to increase awareness and donations. And I ask all of you to join us and have a wonderful evening. I would have known so many people would have showed up, I would have dressed up a little bit better. And Ed, I love your tagline, healing their hidden wounds. I've been involved uh, ever since my neighbor was killed in uh, Fallujah in 2006. But when uh, I met the wonderful World War II uh, uh, fighter pilot, Jerry Yellen, and he's right here. Mm -hmm. And he's been with me ever since uh, 2010 when I met him on the island of Iwo Jima. I do not think that I would have ever been, at my age now, 91 and a half years old, had I not learned to meditate. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last leaving, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. So everyone here tonight loves our veterans, and we love each one of you, so thank you so much for being here. It seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then. I can't remember where or when. Uh, I'm a special advisor to Operation Warrior Shield, and I came to this project with several decades of work in the area of health and wellness, which is one of the key platforms of our work in healing their hidden wounds. So it's really important to me that we do what we can to help them when they come home to understand the care and the loving that we can provide, and that's what I feel from what you're doing, Ed, and from what everybody else in this room is doing tonight. And that's why it's important to me. So I celebrate you, Ed, for doing it. But nothing is more important to us than our work with veterans. We're in offering this technique in VA hospitals, military bases, in uh, veteran service organizations. This is an organization that we will support constantly. And I know you will, because you are so loyal and so dedicated to our many, many, many wonderful, fantastic veterans. And he sat around the Legion telling him stories of the past, of a war that he had fought in, and the deeds that he had done, and his exploits with his buddies. <laughs> they were heroes, everyone. Make no mistake. You've seen the videos, you've heard Jerry Yellen, you know that we stand on the shoulders of giants. You've seen our Korean War veteran colleagues over here. Some of you know that it, tonight is Molly Levy's birthday. Molly, Patrick is looking down on you. I do want to thank the staff tonight. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you, you took care of all of us. Everything was first class. I'm at the T-Mobile table, so, you know, we had a great time. So thank you, T-Mobile, the big sponsor here. So thank you for what you're doing. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. Make believe, make believe, make believe the letter came from you. 600 where? We got 550, anybody at 600? 550, anybody at 600, you can dine with an Emmy Award winner. You have gone and, and made sacrifices and put your lives on the line. People sometimes say to me, oh, you're so brave, the choices you make as an actress. Are you kidding? That's nothing 
none of us would have the ability to say what we feel, to sing what we want to sing, to write what we want to write, if it weren't for the veterans who we are honoring tonight. God bless America, our 